Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we're gonna to be talking about a brand new device in a category of assistive technology for the blind and visually impaired that I haven't featured on my channel very often, and that is document scanners that do OCR. It's basically all it does, it scans the document and then reads it out loud to you. It doesn't do any magnification or anything like that. But like I said, we've got a new one on the market. I'm excited to tell you about it, so hang out. We'll be right back. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I make videos about living your best blind life and the assistive technology that can help make it possible. If that kind of content sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every single time I put out a new video. All right, this is the Lyric, L-Y-R-I-Q. Switching it up a little bit there with the Q. But this is, as I said at the beginning, a document scanning device that uses OCR, Optical Character Recognition. First we'll go over the hardware and then I'll do a demonstration so you guys can see how well it performs. Right away though, you're going to notice how lightweight and portable this is. It weighs about three pounds, but that means that you can either leave this plugged up sitting at your house on a desk or in the kitchen and use it whenever you need it, or if you needed to travel back and forth to an office or go on vacation, this guy will be able to go with you very, very easily. Now, the battery, 15 to 20 hours of battery life on this device. Very, very impressive. A lot of that has to do with the fact that whenever the arm is down, like it is here right now, the device kind of goes to sleep. So that's really cool. You, it's always ready for you whenever you need it. You just lift the arm up and you can use it. But then when you're done, put the arm down and it goes to sleep saving your battery. So along with being really portable, I also love the color contrast theme they've got going on here, the high contrast elements. All the buttons are super high contrast, which is fantastic. They are also very tactile buttons. And you even, if I lift it up. Please place your document. You even have a volume slider here, which I'll turn up here. Please place your document. Now you can hear it even better. Really nice sound effects too. <laughs> but on the front here you have two buttons. The button on the right is your start and stop playback. The button on the left will jump back a sentence during playback. On the right side of the device, you have an HDMI and a USB port, as well as your reading speed up and reading speed down buttons. On the left side here, you have the power button, as well as the charging port and a headphone jack. Speaking of the headphone jack, it has built-in speakers and you have the volume slider to adjust the, the volume of those speakers. And the speakers are pretty good, no complaints there. But if you did need something louder, this also has Bluetooth. So you can send that audio signal to either Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones, or what is gonna be great for a lot of people, Bluetooth hearing aids. On top of the arm here, you have a keypad that is removable. Uh, it actually just attaches via magnets and definitely strong enough that it doesn't fall off when the arm is up. But this keypad gives more control over the reading playback. It allows you to skip by word, by sentence, by character. You can also save your documents through the keypad. So a lot more functionality with the keypad. We'll definitely take a look at that. All right, let's rearrange the camera and we'll take a look at how well it performs. So I really like this design. Since it's so compact and folds down, you could just leave this sitting on a desk or a countertop somewhere and then whenever you need it, it's all ready to go. You turn it on, power it on in the morning. Whenever you're ready to scan something, you just raise it up. Please place your document and it tells you to place your document. I've got one of my favorite books here from when I was a kid, so I wanna read the back of the book. Uh, very simple, I just lay it down here. It senses that there's something there and takes a photo. Elf quest alternates between such complete originality and borrowing eclectic. 
a lie from several sources at once that it is always fresh and completely avoids the staleness that has tainted almost all recent fantasies. Extra, please place your document. Now, I can remove it, I can sit there and listen to it, but if I remove the document, uh, it told me to please place the document, but it's still holding that image in its memory. So if I press this button over here. Illustrated. In book six of the complete elf quest, it is power against power as the wall furthers muster all of their magic. And I can press it again to stop it. This button here on the left side of the front takes me back a sentence. We now in book six of the complete elf quest. It is power against power as the wall furthers muster all of their magic against we know ill, mistress of and once again, we have our volume control here. Blue Mountain. Nothing is as it seems as each side tries to outweigh the other and how will the reappearance of two heads. Now, what if you want to do the inside of a book? Well, that's no problem. Um, I've got this program from a recent conference I went to. So I can just set the book on there like that. Takes the photo. Dear friends, welcome. Letter from Leadership. We are delighted to welcome you to Visions 202. Please place your document. Super fast response, and then once again, I can just press this button on the right side Two. It has to been continue four listening. Years since our last Visions conference in Sandy. On the side here, we have buttons to speed up the speech. Speech speed increased. Speech speed increased. Speech speed increased. Now, if I press the play button. San Diego, but we have endured a lot, and now it is time to come together to learn, grow, and celebrate. It's reading faster, and I can. Always speech speed and decrease. Speech speed decreased. Speech speed decreased. There we go. Back to normal. So it's just so convenient being able to just put it under there, not have to press a button. It just takes the picture and starts reading it out loud, and it's really, really fast and accurate. But once again, we have this little control pad here, keypad that has some extra buttons for working with that text and manipulating that text even more. We have a four-way direction pad here, or directional buttons, and if I press the button in the middle, Prince is focused on the great progress being made in the development of tree. That's the play and the pause, or the play and the stop. If I press the up or down buttons, Q by paragraph, by sentence, by paragraph, I can choose how I want to navigate through this document. So by paragraph, by sentence, by, sentence, by word, by word, by character, and then by character. By word. Let's go back to word. So the left and the right buttons now will navigate through there. Cures, we, LL, B, featuring, research, updates, research. So this is great if you're listening to a document that maybe has a web page on it or an email address or a phone number and you need to get that information very precisely. You can use this keypad for that. This button down underneath the right arrow. R E S E A R C H simply spells out whatever word you're currently on. The button underneath your left arrow actually adjusts your reading, like the language and the reading voice. La voz está configurada para español. Angelica. So there's the female Spanish voice, Angelica. Voice is set to English, Nathan. There's Nathan, the male English. Voice is set to English, Samantha. And then back to Samantha, the female English. English and Spanish are the only languages pre-installed on the device, but there are several other languages available that can be installed on the device upon request. Right below the bottom arrow is the help button. If I long press this button and then press any of the other buttons, it will tell me what the function of that button is. When up arrow button is pressed, lyric will change the item. Item may be character. When left arrow button is pressed, Lyric will read previous item. Press arrow up or arrow down key to select an item. Then finally you have these two buttons at the bottom. These are for saving the current document. So if I long press one of these buttons here and then press one of the four directional arrows, it will assign this document to that specific button. Page saved. So I save that to the left arrow. So now if I were to scan something like this book cover. I've been reading and writing about personal finance for here. Please place your document. And now if we continue to play that. 15 years but still learned a ton from this book. J. D. Rock. So 
it currently has the book cover loaded in the memory. But if I press this bottom button here and then do the left arrow. Get reading save page. Dear friends, welcome. Letter from leadership. We are delighted to welcome you to Visions 2022. It plays our saved document that we programmed a minute ago. So this is really cool. We can save several documents this way, but there's a way to save even more. If we were to insert a USB flash drive into this USB port, then every time we scanned a document, it would automatically be saved to the flash drive. So you could totally scan an entire book and save that to be listened to later. USB storage detected. Entering book scan mode. Page saved. Please place your document. Please place your document. Page saved. Please place your document. Please place your document. And then of course, now that we're done scanning, close the arm and we can place our keypad back on there and it's ready to go if we need it later. All right guys, so that was a quick look at the new Lyric document scanning OCR device. All in all, I really like this machine as far as the functionality and the hardware. Uh, I love the design, super small, compact, Lightweight, you can take this wherever you need to. Uh, the tactile buttons are fantastic. The overall look of it with the high contrast elements is great. I love how the keypad just attaches here magnetically onto the arm. Please place your document. I love all the little audible cues and how it talks to you. Um, and the automatic picture taking feature, I love that. Most document scanners that I've seen, especially older styles, you have to actually push a button to take a picture and then the processing takes forever on some of those older devices. This is super fast and very, very reliable also. Uh, battery life is fantastic. If it truly is 15 to 20 hours of battery life, that's insane. Of course, you could just leave it plugged up and use it that way. Yeah, all in all, just a really solid device. Now, that's my opinion on the Lyric. Uh, whether it is going to be the right product for you, you will have to make that decision. And of course, one thing to consider is the pricing. Hey guys, let me jump in real quick because I've got updated pricing information for the Lyric. As of August 2022, the price for the Lyric will be $1,950. And if you want the included keypad, that will bring the cost up to $2,200. So it's definitely not cheap. And that's of course something to consider. But if you guys, once again, have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer those or check out the links to go to the websites to get more information. But while you're down there also, please don't forget to like the video. Uh, like, leave comments, share with all your family and friends. All of that engagement helps out the channel tremendously. But if you'd like other ways to help out the blind life, there's always the merchandise. Uh, channel memberships or even clicking on the thanks button right below the video right next to the share button lots of different ways to give back to the channel and we appreciate that and finally a huge thank you to both the lyric team and mountain view low vision services in tennessee for allowing me access to this specific device to make this video for you guys but that's it guys as always this is sam with the blind life i'll see you next time